Tudor Dixon's running for governor of Michigan, and she joins me now. So, Tudor, I know you're up against Gretchen. She seems to be playing the race card, the gender card. She's all into the schools, trying to change everybody's mind and get in their business. What's the strategy to prevent that? Well, I think you're exactly right. Right now, Democrat politicians are confused. They're saying, wait a minute, our talking points aren't working. Our own people are turning against us. And in the state of Michigan, it is definitely happening. What you're talking about, this Biden agenda to come in and change our kids, it's happening in the state of Michigan. We have the Department of Ed talking about having kids transition behind their parents' back. We have pornography in our schools. And suddenly, one of our stronghold Democrat communities, Dearborn, Michigan, that is majority Muslim parents have come out and said, we're done with this stuff. You, we want our Democrat officials to stand up against this. And one parent told me that when he went to his Democrat official and said, I want you to stand against pornography in our schools, they called him a bigot. Now they're realizing we're losing votes and we don't know how, we don't know how to stop the bleeding right now because they can't get off of this radical messaging. In the meantime, they have people asking, how can we afford gas? How can we afford groceries? Inflation is rising. We're headed toward a recession. And all you're concerned about is whether or not kids are transitioning and whether or not we can teach them about sex in school. What do you think the strategy is for wanting kids to transition and telling them they're all racist and then saying there's no crime wave and inflation is just an upper class problem? Well, we know that we have a lot of Democrats right now that are looking for higher office, and they believe that that progressive message is what wins. They've seen the squad out there for years that are they're getting more and more attention on social media. But the fact of the matter is that real people don't like the Whitmer Biden agenda. They do not want to talk about these radical positions on sex and gender in school. They want to bring back a traditional American values. They're asking, why aren't you sticking up for the family? Why aren't you taking care of us? Why aren't you giving us a gas tax holiday? Jesse, you look at other states, Republican states, right now they're focused on reading, writing, and math. They're focused on getting kids back on track. They're making sure that they have gas tax holidays, and they're making sure that they have money back in the pockets of their people. But in Democrat states, Democrat-led states, that's not happening. Gretchen Whitmer has vetoed, vetoed tax cuts for the people of Michigan, and she has not stood uh, up for parents. Parents keep saying, where do you stand on this stuff? Our own Department of Ed is teaching teachers to talk to kids about transitioning behind their parents' backs. We've come out and said, we want the superintendent to resign. Gretchen Whitmer has been completely silent, and parents are saying, where do you stand? This is the most important thing to us. This parent that talked to me last week, he said, at the end of the day, forget about all the other politics. My kids are the most important thing to me, and if Democrats are going to turn their backs on my kids, then I am going to turn my backs on the Democratic Party. And you know what? I say let that happen because they need to learn that this is not what the American people want, that at the end of the day, we want our traditional American values back and our freedoms. Yeah, maybe they don't want kids to learn math so they don't understand how bad inflation is. <laughs> All right, Tudor, thank you so much for joining us, and good luck up there. Thank you.